The story of Texas is often a story of water, or maybe it's a story of a lack of water. In Texas, we're talking about rivers. Texas is a big place with a lot of geographical diversity. Let's take a tour of its rivers, but let's start with the rivers that we share with other states. This map shows the journey. We're going to start with the rivers that form boundaries, the Red River and Rio Grande. Then the rivers that are just passing through, the Canadian and Pecos. The northern boundary of Texas between Texas and Oklahoma is the Red River. The Red River is a wide, shallow, and muddy river. It starts up at the edge of the Llano Estacado on the Caprock and flows through all that red sandy soil, picking up a lot of it as it flows through the northern edge of West Texas, the Blackland Prairies, and East Texas. It passes out of Texas near Texarkana, cutting into the state of Arkansas, and then ranges south through Louisiana until co-mingling with the Mississippi River north of Baton Rouge and south of Natchez, Mississippi. The Rio Grande is the southern boundary of the state of Texas. Its origins are in the mountains of southwestern Colorado, and it flows south all the way through the middle of New Mexico, and then finally comes into Texas at El Paso. Making a turn toward the southeast, it makes a huge bend out in the middle of the Chihuahua Desert and defines Big Bend National Park. The Rio Grande continues flowing as the international border between Texas and Mexico until finally coming around to the lower Rio Grande Valley and entering the Gulf of Mexico. The Spanish called it El Rio Bravo del Norte, the excellent river of the north. The Pecos River starts among the Rocky Mountains in the Sangre de Cristo range of northern New Mexico. It flows south along the plains of New Mexico before entering Texas. The farther south it goes, the deeper the canyon it cuts until it finally commingles with the Rio Grande south of the old, nearly extinct town of Langtry and helps form Lake Amistad. The Canadian River has its origins in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains and is one of the major watercourses of the Great Plains. The Canadian passes through the Texas Panhandle and into Oklahoma where it finally will join the Arkansas River in the eastern part of that state. In the second part of this lesson, we will look at the rivers that flow entirely within the state of Texas. 